from me? Can everybody understand my accent? Good. Uh, if I'm speaking too quick, let me know. Uh, so I'm Peter Jackson, and um, for the last two years I've been building a sombrero. Uh, not full time, I've had other time off for doing other things, but I'm just going to briefly tell you about uh, how I built Sombrero and how I, how I would do things better in the future and things like that. So f a lot of the, the uh, people ask me, why did you build a Sombrero? So I should explain, I've got two hats. This is my everyday practical hat. Um, you can walk around supermarkets and things and not have it droop on things. This is actually the sombrero. No. All right. I thought it was just white light, so um, yeah, the, the first screen was not cool. Right. So this is, um, this is the original sombrero. So why did I do it? Well, um, I was with the Edinburgh Hack Lab and we were on a night out and this hat fell out a window. There was a party going on. So we tried to throw it back up into the, the flat, but it didn't work, so we got a sombrero. So um, <laughs> what do you do with a sombrero that you wake up next to? You put LEDs in it. Um, so al al along the way, um, I did my first pretty circuit board design. Um, so I, you can have a little bit of a look afterwards. Uh, there's, for each of these pixels, there is a separate little circuit board. Uh, there's also surface mount soldering on it. Um, so uh, I'd never done surface mount soldering before. It seemed very scary. Uh, it's not at all. Um, if you weren't here, you should have been at the surface mount soldering workshop um, being run by Edinburgh Hack Lab colleagues. Um, I highly recommend surface mount soldering. Uh, and who wouldn't walk, want to walk down a dark alley with this sombrero? Um, unfortunately, it's still light at the moment, but later on, uh, if you see a swirling sombrero walking around, come and speak to me and I'm sure you can have a go. <laughs> so, a little bit of tech geekiness. Uh, the sombrero has 27 LEDs on it, uh, each of them RGB. Uh, I meant to do 28. But the spacing was a bit, a bit off, and I didn't want to move them all around, so 27 it is. <laughs> um, the, each individual module has a, um, the hardware is based on something called Blinkem, which are little uh, pixels, about £10 each. Um, I didn't put these in the hat, I'm not that rich. Uh, but the hardware design is very simple, and there's also a third party firmware. Uh, called CYZ RGB, so there's a slight fork of that. Uh, so I put that onto the, the hat. So that's uh, each of them have got a little um, AT Tiny microcontroller, and inside the hat there is a um, Arduino clone Pro Micro, really small board. Uh, originally, when I built this, this is like version two, version three. It had a full size Arduino with a shield. Uh, so you ended up, when you when wearing a hat, you ended up with little 0.1 inch dimples on your head. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was not comfortable. This is still a bit parts on your head. Um, it has an integrated TV be gone. <laughs> so there's, there's two, um, two infrared transmitters here. Uh, I promise that was not why those plasmas <laughs> aren't working. Um, and to control it, so you you can probably see it, it's spinning around a bit. As I say, it's a bit bright. Um, to control it, there's a remote control. So you know these quite sort of commodity Chinese um, lamps and things? You get the remote control for that. Um, so it has different colors on it. So I put an infrared receiver on it. <laughs> and you can change the colors. Uh, I used Last Camp's badge, EMF uh, 2012's badge, to decode this uh, as an Arduino library. Um, I didn't do any groundbreaking electronics or software, I just like mashed up everything and put it together. Um, it runs on four AA batteries that are sort of in a nice battery box there, um, out of harm's way. Um, Rough power consumption when all the LEDs are on, about one and a half watts. 
um, battery life about five hours, like one evening basically. And um, yeah, if you take it in the rain, it's not going to go too well. It's not going to do anything harmful, it just might corrode a little bit. So I'm glad it's not raining. So yes, the uh, ingress rating is um, IPX0, which you know, put your finger in it, you can get it all wet and things. So some slightly less um, geeky statistics. Um, as I said at the beginning, I've been working on this for about two years. Hardware cost is about £70. I got the LEDs out of a junk box that was in our hack lab. Um, I've lost track of how many hours I've spent on it, how many times I've woken up and it's, well, woken up, finished working on the hat and it's light and I have to go back. I've on, only one person has bought me a drink. Uh, that was at a maker fair in Edinburgh, so um, I'm quite partial for cider, Matty. Um, yeah, um, walking around for the last couple of days, um, I was on volunteer security shift. Uh, with the practical hat. So this was built um, in about two days because I knew what I was doing. Um, the other thing is um, straw hats, you'd never guess they're not very heat resistant. So I got a little bit fed up and was using a um, hot air gun. So you can see later um, it melts a bit. <laughs> well, there's a unique smell of burning straw. And yes, um, next steps. Uh, I keep saying I'm going to do an instructable on how to build a hat. Might do, might not. Um, and in the week, in the last week, I was putting a beat detection module so it would react to, to sound. So that's almost finished. Um, and have I got a few minutes to show a bit of a video of it in slightly more dark? Um, if we, no, I don't think I've got the video. So. I've got a couple, a couple of quiet minutes for questions. If not, just grab me afterwards to ask me questions. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? I. What did you say? So the question is, how do you control the TV we got? Um, well, at the moment, it, there's a slight bug in that when you switch the hat on, so there's a, a, a switch on the battery pack, the TV Be Gone does its cycle. <laughs> so you've got to be slightly careful where you are. Um, <laughs> of course, what you should have is you have a mate with a hat that doesn't have LEDs on it with a TV Be Gone and this one, but yeah, who's going to get the blame? Um, so what I've got is this control has flash, strobe, fade and smooth, so I've just programmed one of those buttons. So that goes to the infrared there and then the Arduino just sends a signal to the TV be gone. It actually just does a reset because that's how the TV be gone work and then it does its two minutes of things. Uh, the infrared LEDs draw quite a lot of current, so at some points the other lights sort of dim or something <laughs> like that. Any other questions? Anything else? Oh, thanks, Peter. Right. right.